Hey guys, I have another requested video for you today, and this time it's a makeup tutorial. This is my current go-to look that I've been wearing in a lot of my videos and Instagram photos lately, so today I'm going to share with you how I create it. To start off, I just apply my base makeup. I know it's pretty terrifying at this point, and I kind of look like a zombie, but don't worry, it won't last for too long. My current everyday foundation is Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. For around my eyes, I use the Fluffy Concealer Brush by e.l.f. For concealer, I've been using mostly the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer because it has amazing coverage and really sticks to your skin. Plus, it's waterproof. Occasionally, I still use my NARS Creamy Concealer. I set my foundation with my two favorite Laura Mercier powders as usual. I use the translucent loose setting powder for my whole face and then the smooth finish foundation powder for under my eyes and any other areas that need extra coverage. Now let's move on to the eyes. The only palette I'll be using is my new go-to eyeshadow palette, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. If you like the Naked Basics palettes like I do, you will love this palette. This palette consists of entirely neutral matte shades, but you can substitute these for anything similar that you already have. Using a fluffy eyeshadow brush, such as the MAC 224 brush, I start out by creating a base color over my entire lid with a light, warm nude shade like Latinus or Lucius. Next, I take the shade Lazarus, which is a very light brown taupe color and begin to gradually build up the intensity while focusing on the outer corner and crease, brushing a little bit over the lids as well. Next, I add some warmth with the shade Ludwin, which is a peachy tone, and I brush this on the outer crease. Sometimes I even use this on my entire lid as my base shadow, which looks really nice as well. Now I switch to my MAC 217 brush and begin to darken the outer corners with a darker brown shadow like Cytri or Solace, or sometimes a bit of both. I actually close my eyes a little while brushing this on, so it applies on both the top and lower lash line. I work this into the outer corner and then up into the crease. Once I'm happy with how this looks, I move on to creating the wing. Taking my Sigma E30 brush, which is a small pointed eye brush. I apply the shade Shax, which is black, and very gently draw in a wing. I start with light strokes and gradually build up the intensity. Sometimes I make it darker, sometimes lighter. It really depends on the occasion or your personal preference. I work the shade into the outer corner and then onto the lower lash line as well. Moving on to the brows, I start by brushing them out as I like them to look as full as possible. As usual, I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe, and similar to my previous tutorial, I start by drawing kind of an outline of how I want the brow to look. Using very gentle strokes, I start with a line underneath my eyebrow, and then an angled line on the outer edge, and finally, I connect it with the line on top. Continuing with gentle strokes, I fill in any sparse areas throughout the rest of the brow to further define the shape. I'll finish them off by brushing them through with a spoolie to soften any harsh lines and to keep them looking natural. Now going back to the eyes, I'll be taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and applying this to my upper and lower lashes. I wiggle the brush right into the lash line to get it as dark as possible. And sorry again for moving away from the camera and towards my mirror. I also comb through my lashes with my metal eyelash comb to brush out any clumps. Now the eyes are completely done, I wanted to show you how it looked here in cooler lighting. Once the mascara is completely dry, I go in with a Q-tip to clean up any mascara that got onto my eyelids. For blush, I'll be using a natural mauve toned blush, such as Elf's Blush in Mellow Mauve or Too Faced Love Blush in Baby Love. 
I gradually build this up along my cheekbones and blend it out further with my MAC Kabuki brush. For highlighter, I take my Too Faced Candlelight Glow Duo and apply this to my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. Time to finally get that base makeup off my lips with just some makeup remover on a Q-tip. This also gives your lips a really neat defined shape. I apply some of my Paula's Choice Lip Balm to prep my lips and taking Bobbi Brown's lip pencil in the shade beige, I line my lips. I gently blend the line inwards but I don't fill them in completely as this will make the lipstick look darker than I want it to be for this look. For my lip colour, I take the only colour I pretty much ever wear and the one you guys are always asking me about. It's Charlotte Tilbury's KISS ING lipstick in the shade Penelope Pink. And now we're done. Here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, although I know it's not hugely different to my previous tutorial. Please be sure to let me know if you try out this look yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!